Okay, I got a motor issue here. Just want to demonstrate uh, sounds that you could have in your gearbox. Sometimes this is very straight, but this is not the case. Um, you want to have, see this line right here? You want to follow that with your motor. Uh, however, it's not. And if you look really close on the top, it's going to grind right there. Okay, so another issue I got here is this is extremely loose. I am not kidding. Use my fingernail to turn that thing. It's, it's very, very loose. Um, you could use some plumber's tape. This is the Teflon type. Just pull it out and put it around and put it back in. Uh, you could use some thread lock, but I wouldn't really suggest that because it's going to, it could probably make it really, really tight. Um, this seems to work pretty well. However, I find that sometimes when I get this out, it's extremely hard to put, it's extremely hard to put back in. And the reason for that is the threading is just not the greatest. Okay, another issue. Let's keep showing issues here, right? You're working on your motor, you want everything to be good. This is uh, pushed down so that the motor can drop into it. But imagine if it's pushed up is the only way to avoid this metal right here and this metal right here from touching these edges. Because as this motor turns on, it tries to do this. And if this is... Let's go backwards. Push back too far. You can see that the metal on metal right here, this is not good. The only thing that stops this from shorting is this is uh, uh, painted. So I would suggest to cut those off so you never have an issue at all. Plus you can see that you may have an issue down here with the uh, contact with the end of the brush. Um, sometimes the metal that holds the uh, springs in place touches. So it gets to be really a pain in the butt. And what I suggest to remove is cut in the middle here, cut in the middle here, cut this edge, and it's good to go. All right, the amount of tape that I used here, you can see that is quite a lot of tape. It's all electrical tape. Go ahead and put it in the motor. Now I just want to show how beautiful and straight this is now. It's a beautiful sight. So we cut this all down. We thread lock. Or excuse me, we uh, Teflon tape there, so it's nice and tight. And you can just see how much tape is used to make it nice. This is how you should check your motor with the pistol grip for sure. Great stuff. Okay, now check with the body, because sometimes the body here is uh, extended too much here. So when you try to push this up, you get a gap, and sometimes. The hole doesn't line up properly with this, so here's it in. Goes in extremely easy now. I looked through here. My, I wrote some little X's to kind of align with, and it aligned. Um, so this goes to show how you should definitely align your grip. Wow, goes great. So this should sound a little bit better than it would have if I had, if I had shimmed this without uh, looking at the motor and checking. It's one thing you have to be cautious of. Um, this issue, when I've checked this before, I haven't really seen it that bad. This was absolutely terrible. Um, but here we can see huge improvement um, just alone right there.